wasn't ever expecting such like fuckboy energy from them. And here we are. Hello and welcome back to my channel. The shiny train rolls on as we check out their MV and song Don't Call Me. So this was actually, I think, their last album, their last release outside of Atlantis uh, as a group before, you know, military leave and, and with Taman and things like that. So this will be cool to check out. I actually didn't know Atlantis was the repackage. And this is important because we're doing the whole album Don't Call Me on Patreon later tonight. I put up votes actually recently if you want to hop onto Patreon and join us on there. Uh, for what you would like to see in terms of albums, what we would like to see in terms of variety content, and Shiny ranked quite high, and the Don't Call Me album actually was first the last time I checked. If it is still, I'm pretty sure it is going to be. We're going to be checking uh, that out later tonight. So please join us on there. I was actually surprised that they got the number one spot. So lots of live stages, uh, album reactions to come, I'm sure. And maybe some variety content that we can get into. Uh, but let's do it. This is Don't Call Me by Shiny. Let's go. Do we have captions on? Yes. This is interesting. This is not the style I was expecting. Oh, okay. This almost feels like partially second gen style. If you don't call me, check this out, y'all. Me, don't call me. I don't want your back, don't call me. Huh? I keep saying next time and I'm saying your life. Oh, oh. Oh my god, the bass line is gross, though. Ooh. What is on Key's head? Oh man, he's running this song right now. Suddenly, you know, he looks, look at his hair there. He looks amazing when he's styled like that. I love that. You brought the sexy into this, though. He has a soft, comforting voice, man. This is not the style that I was thinking. The vocals are, though. Dig these lighting changes. It got a bit darker here from day to night and just these blue with uh, blooming like orange lights. But still, the set, very simple. They've stayed to one location so far. Lit so well, though. just me or is key really just running this song uh oh <laughs> never mind he has an attitude problem in this look at look at him show teeth in the beginning he shows teeth this this I love the beat. The beat is what is making the song for me. Taman dances like he's actually on ice. Like, I, they give him skates or something. Look at him. What? What? An owner's voice is like a soft hug from mom. Mm, no, and then the beat 
comes back in. I wasn't ever expecting such like fuckboy energy from them. And here we are. Seriously, that red hair works on him. Pokemon? Well, now he's really pushing out some more strength here. Oh, throw the whole phone into the water. Oh, this is... Transitions. Sorry, the number you have called has been disconnected. Give us some love. What is happening? There's there's a whole lot of just SM going on in this song. It's just there's all over the place in parts and completely coherent in others. It's 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 hard to describe. It's just I don't know if I've heard a shiny song exactly like this. Maybe when it came to the stuff we've seen with the like live stages on Patreon, the the live stages do get a bit that, but it's more of their like performance. I don't know. This is so attitude and like mood driven. Oh, the piano. the harmony now that is them oh it's over huh i guess if i had to kind of describe it when we checked out atlantis atlantis really does remind again this is someone speaking that really doesn't know much shiny but what i do know at this point atlantis feels more like the speed that i know this is very different uh for me um from what i've heard from them and i kind of like that it was not aggressive but a bit more in your face and in a lot of parts and that's just not how i associate them in my head you know like what what he looked fantastic first of all when the hat was off and the hair was going he looked really really great i don't know what was on key's head onu again his vocals were like the kind of reprieve from the more pseudo aggressive portions of the song and tayman is just tame he's just he's fantastic Whatever he's doing on camera, he could be sitting and like eating yogurt. I think that's really, really like enticing, <laughs> no matter what he's doing. Uh, so yeah, this is cool. It's just something that I'm not used to when it comes to their style. It was different, but still them at the same time. Please, if I'm making any sense at all, or if uh, or if I just have not nearly explored enough of their stuff to to really know, and I know that I haven't. Uh, but was this? Did this comeback have like a particular direction that they really wanted to portray or push when it came to this song specifically uh and i guess i'll find out what the rest of the album sounds like and how this fits into that if that mood uh is kind of strewn without the rest of the album so join us on patreon later tonight to check out the don't call me album it is a full album i think i think we got like nine songs on there uh and vote for their other stuff variety or whatever you would like to see from them on patreon we've already got some live stages from them on there that i was blown away by i love love their live stages their full concerts ones they've done in japan and everything are just nuts thank you guys so much please subscribe if you are new and check out my other shiny reactions and my team and reactions down below in the description i will see you next time